The governor officiated the opening of the Nairobi County Assembly, giving a detailed plan of action of his administration in turning around the city's fortunes within the next five years. A tough-talking Sonko attributed the bloated workforce in the county government to the previous administration, terming the financial state of the county as appalling. Out of a workforce of about 13,000, there are less than 400 employees aged below 30 years. This not only presents monumental capacity challenges due to an aging workforce, but may also partly explain why Nairobi has been unable to move progressively with the rest of the cities across the world, especially in this technology and digital era. But arguably, the announcement that got the entire house all excited was his stern warning to the so-called cartels at the city hall, revealing plans to deal decisively with the deep-rooted problem in the county. Corruption is still rampant at the city hall. I wish to take this opportunity to warn the city hall-based cartels that sooner rather than later, the long arm of the law shall catch up with you. He pledged to conduct an audit of the county human resources and finances amid plans to retire 5,000 workers and employ a younger, vibrant workforce, saying that the bulk of the workforce is aging and low-skilled. Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakata, who attended the opening, stated his commitment towards achieving the county's vision. Before you start talking to these people, you find that there's already a wall that uh, is automatically put there. But the more you get to interact with them, especially in informal settings, you know, the more they get to know, okay, this is not a bad guy. And for me, it has already worked with the MPs and uh, with many of the members of the assembly across the divide. Because if you look at the votes we got, um, the governor, myself, and also the women, we got votes more than all our principles, more than Raila Odinga, more than Uru Kenyatta. So that means we got votes across the political divide. And we must not translate that by partisan thinking to the assembly and to our work. The ceremony was presided over by the speaker, Beatrice Elachi, who emphasized on the need to create a good working relationship within the House to improve the county's affairs. Going forward, we will wish, uh, especially the county assembly members who are more on the real uh, grassroots level and the world level, are able to also just have one way of managing their ambulance. And uh, managing the politics, we know, yes, you, some are nice and the others are to be but the most important thing, I think the Europeans, when they finished their election, they want to see a, a, a leader who takes over and ensures he delivers success without being biased, without. And I'm hoping they'll follow that constitution. And I think that's why when you see the governor talking about a uh, board fund, it, it cuts across. Victor Moyakane, Channel One.